because it is going to be me showing you guys actually how I apply my wig. And so this wig is going to be featuring my newest wig from Wig & Fashion. So it came in this black box. Here's the card for it. That's the logo. Came in this bag and this. And there's another bag that tells you how to take care of your hair if you hear any noise please excuse it it's a little pamphlet tells you how to take care of their hair it has their Instagram Facebook and the website right here so This wig was, the subtotal was $51.85. There was no tax, but you know, I wanted this wig for my birthday, so I paid for expedited shipping, which brought the price up to $27.85. The expedited shipping was $26. It's 24 inches, light blue, synthetic lace front wig. Okay, so now I'm going to mask off and take off this wig. I have a video on this wig coming up, so if it's not up already, I will link it down below in the description box. But I have a video on this wig, and I want to take this one off and put on the other. Okay, so while I was doing all that, I forgot that this is not a wig trying on video. This is an application video, so I'm going to show you guys how I apply. What I usually do is I wouldn't do this with makeup on, but since I have some on, I'm getting some peroxide. Since peroxide has alcohol in it, look, don't quote me if it don't have alcohol, because I don't think, I don't know, like, all I know is it gets makeup off, so it does the trick. And you want to wipe your forehead. Wipe it, like, take off some of the makeup around here. All around your hairline, get all the makeup, because that's going to cause an issue for you later if you don't. But I rather do this with no makeup on it makes it a lot easier but I had other videos to film so I had no choice but you guys do so what you want to do is get your black got to be glued mine is mine is almost done but you get about that much rub it around and just put some around your hairline. And you wanna make sure that your edges are already slicked back and you don't have any like beady beats coming out cause that's gonna be another issue that you don't wanna deal with. So, applying gel, applying gel. Now rub it upwards, rub it in, smooth it out basically. Add more if you need to. If you don't have to, then don't. Cause this stuff is like real life glue, to be honest. Okay, so 
okay, now I'm snatched. Blow dryer. Don't ask me where it's from. I don't know. That's just my grandma house, and who knows if my grandma got it. So, we're going to take it, cut up the volume. I mean, the volume. Cut it up all the way to the max speed, and put it on cool. And so what I was doing is I was, you know, switching from warm heat to cool heat while I was doing that. And so I was doing it until this dries completely. Once that's dry, you're gonna take, this is what makes it stick. You're gonna take the got to be yellow spray and spread it around your um, hairline too. And then you're going to repeat the same steps and you're going to do this until it is tacky. So once that's tacky, now you want to apply your wig. So I already adjusted my straps because I have a small head. They're both right in the middle. And you want to work pretty fast while this is happening. So... Take and sit that on top of your head. Add your clip in the back. And pull your wig to the front. Make sure everything is comfortable for you because if not, you're going to be dealing with it for a long time. So. And you're gonna pull this part, my middle part never lines up correctly, but you're gonna pull it right above your hairline. Secure it. And the edges are always the hardest part, but since I've already, you know, pre-customized, if you guys wanna customize in video, you know, the lazy way, let me know. But I already have my little, you know, hairline out. I'm gonna brush it. And this is my little, you know, ear piece. I already cut the ear pieces out to make it comfortable for me. And I just lay it down. And now what you're going to do is blow dry this. Do the same on the other side and like I never get it right, so I have to fix it as I'm going. Got my little earpiece out. Make sure that's comfortable for me. The brush. And apply the side. And so, of course, everything is not gonna go perfect. I always have, you know, pieces that wanna stick up when they wanna stick up. So that's when we go back with the yellow and spray under those pieces. And blow. Take it from my edge control. I'm going to lay this piece right here down. And now I'm going to blow dry again. And now you want to just repeat these same steps on the other side. And I'm going to come back with everything else that I did. Okay, so now all my pieces are pretty glued. You can stop here if you want to, but I'm going to add baby hairs to make it look a little more realistic. So I'm going to take and flip this up 
like so. Clip it. And take some more got to be glue gel and bring down my baby hair. So now we're going to smooth down our baby hair. Okay, so that's how they're looking right now, but of course we are not done. We're going to do some more blow drying. Now to seal it in, we're gonna take a do-rag or scarf or whatever and tie it tight to secure the edges. Okay, so now you can take down your clip. And brush out your synthetic hair that is not real hair and it will get tangled. So brush it out from the ends to the root. While that sits, you can let that stay as long as you want to. What I usually do is now I, I would let it sit while I'm doing my makeup. Yeah, I will let it sit while I'm doing my makeup. So my makeup is already done. So I'll probably let it sit for like five minutes. The longer you let it sit, the stronger it'll hold and the better it's gonna look. Okay, so if you follow correctly, it should look like this now. What you're gonna do is brush around those edges because they can get real stiff if you don't. Brush from the ends with synthetic wigs and then go make your way to the front. Make sure you're brushing to make your hairline look very natural. Like blend those baby hairs in with the hair. Okay, and that's how it looks right now. So my finishing touch is the hot comb. Take the hot comb, smooth it. Cause nobody's real hair sits up like that. Definitely catch right around them edges. Cause that's where a natural hairline would be the most thin. Just by the edges. Be careful though, cause hot combs are more dangerous than flat irons and you will burn yourself. Just blend across the back and you see the difference?
And if you wanted to get real precise, you could get a wine color instead of right here, but I'm just gonna use this. And so that's how I do it. Now all you have to do is brush it out. If you wanna let your hair bang sit longer, you could. But I'm not doing that. So, yeah, y'all. So again, this wig is from Wig is Fashion. I will have their website in the link and all their social media is linked down below if you guys want to purchase this wig. This is that logo right here. So that is all I have for you guys today. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. I love you all. So I realized I forgot to show you guys how the wig actually looks on me. So I included this video and I'm also going to include more videos and pictures so you guys can get the feel of this week.